Are you aware that the histogram inside Adobe Lightroom can actually tell you if your white balance is technically correct? That's right, no more spending ages editing and scratching your head, getting frustrated whilst editing your photos. By using the method in this video, even your photos taken in horrific lighting environments with fluorescent lighting, orange lighting, will be fixed in a matter of seconds. Okay, so now we're inside the Adobe Lightroom and I have a variety of images I would like to correct. So I'm not gonna apply my preset to any of them. I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna show you exactly how to find technically correct white balance for every single one of these photos using the histogram. So first up, here's this indoor image. Now you can see it's daylight outside, but they do have some orange lights. So what I when I talk about technically correct white balance, I mean, technically correct white balance for that photo. Obviously, if something's orange and they've got a lot of orange lighting, taking away all the orange will be hard and um, it probably wouldn't be a good idea because of if someone gets ready, gets, you know, ready in a really orange room, making everything look white um, isn't really how it was in the day. Uh, so I will talk about that in this video especially with wedding dresses and things like that uh, because of typically wedding dresses are white so you you'd like to keep them white uh, okay so this first image now what my first port of call will be is to find somewhere a little bit white so we're here we go here's a bit of white tablecloth so here is white and now if you look at the histogram here you can see the red value the green value and the blue value now if I go to my white balance and click temperature, I can now adjust the temperature of the image with plus and minus. Now you can see at the moment it's on 5,200 Kelvin and my tint is set at zero. Now that's because of I shoot all day weddings at 5,200 because it works really well with the, uh, my preset. So um, when I zoom in here and I go up to the histogram, I will adjust using the plus and minus keys. And now you can see if I decrease the temperature slider, you can see here, the, the values change. So what we're looking for is we are going to disregard the green, the, the G value and the R value and the blue value we would like to get within 1% of each other. So that's 32.8 uh, and that's 32.7. So that is basically within 1% of each other. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom out of this image and I'm gonna brighten up just for the sake of the video. But the white balance before is a bit dull and that's afterwards. Now that's technically correct and that actually looks one hell of a lot better. Now if we go to this next image, this is obviously daylight, so it's gonna be easy to correct. But if we go to the bride's dress, it's 85.9. We only need to adjust it ever so slightly. And that is technically correct. But obviously I, I want to emphasize this is like um, a subjective thing. So if your style is very warm, then I suggest maybe using a preset which is warm and then not relying on this to make things warm, if that makes sense. My, my preset here is typically a nice bit warm. Um, so I rely on that for the warmth, if that makes sense. Uh, okay, next image, um, that's just outdoors. What I'll do is I'll put it over the dress and it is far too cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warm it up. 50. Warm it up again. And now that's technically correct. And next image. So these obviously haven't got a preset. I just want to make, you know, I, I mentioned the preset earlier. Um, okay, this image, it's during golden hour. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what it says about the wedding dress. 87.8 to 95. So it's far too blue. So I need to warm it up. Just quickly, if this is the first time you've ever heard of using the histogram to correct your white balance in your photos, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know how it's going for you. Now, if I warm it up to where it's technically correct, 
Okay, 90.3 to 91%. Now that looks really nice. Sometimes people might think, you know, um, the skin tones might be too warm and or too cool. So it's obviously up to you. You can warm it up even more if you like to make it more clear that there's a sunset. But that I'm really happy with technically correct white balance. And then obviously you've got the tint here. Now I like to have it at zero. And if I feel like an image will benefit from adjusting the tint, then um, yeah, then I have a play with it. Uh, with my Nikon camera, if I shoot with auto white balance, it comes up with some crazy tints sometimes. So I tend to just leave it at zero in Lightroom and then adjust it. So obviously that's gonna be a bit too green. Sometimes it's nice to add a little bit of magenta, a little bit of pink, and then that's quite nice. Pleasing skin tones. Next image here. So the only source of light is an open window, well, a window, an opening in the tent with some natural light coming through. There's no lights on in there at the moment. So all this yellow color cast is due to the canvas of the teepee. So lovely, nice and white menu. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna instantly cool that down because I know that it's far too warm. Um, a little bit too far. 69.3 to 69, lovely. So that is technically correct. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the exposure for the benefit of the video. Now that's technically correct white balance. Um, obviously we have tint and we can adjust it. It was kind of like that in the daytime and it looked a bit weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of pink to combat that and it just complements the image a little bit more. Lovely. Okay, so here it's obviously dance floor and it is very pink. Okay, so here is obviously a dance floor and we can tell straight away that the white balance is far too warm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna guess it will be around there and then I'll pop my over here's 84, that's far too warm. Right, okay, so this is where guessing comes into play. So that's technically correct, but I know it didn't look like that. I know it didn't look that white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warm it up ever so slightly and that looks quite nice and pleasing with the skin tones. Here, obviously we're outside and there's really, really warm lights and it's hard to, well, I'm gonna guess I like it there. What I'm gonna look for is technically correct white balance. Technically, it's gonna to be far too cool because of it wasn't cool at the time. And it's obviously up to you how you interpret what white is for in the environment. And I feel like that's beautiful. That's technically correct in my mind. That's be I feel like that's beautiful. Okay, here we got a wedding cake and I'm gonna go on the tablecloth and adjust it from using the tablecloth. And 50, there we go, just went past it a little bit. 53.9 to 53.9 and that is technically correct. It was a slightly orange room, so I might warm it up a little bit and now I think that's really nice um, because of I don't want to destroy every essence of the day, so to speak. Here, exactly the same room, minutes apart. So that was 3,900. So I'm gonna guess it will be around there. We'll have a look a little bit too warm in the 93.5, 93.5. That's beautiful. Literally warm it up ever so slightly and it's done. Now I like to, reference the white balance point in histogram quite often when I'm editing because it helps me stay more consistent and it helps me have a bit of less brain fog if that makes sense if I'm comparing two photos so just use technical white balance and start from there this one I'm gonna automatically move it down there 82 okay 77 done technically correct but I'm gonna warm it up ever so slightly done beautiful okay here is in a bathroom they're heavily backlit source of light in front of them is probably an orange light now it's going to be tough but if we 
fine technically correct white balance i think the fur looks quite nice anyway but what i'm going to do is i'm going to call it down to technically correct and that's a bit too cool <coughs> so what i'm going to do is i'm going to warm that up and i'm just happy with that exactly where it is here same wedding um we are under some orange lights and there's some light coming in i feel like it's quite a nice image anyway have a look at the histogram now um, we'll cool it down though it doesn't really reflect how the day was there because it looks kind of cool and it was quite nice outside at the point warm it up done lovely stuff lovely cool wedding reception it looks a bit cool here a little bit too cool i'm gonna have a look 74 to 83 so warm it up Perfect, 78, 79, and that's perfect white balance. I'm really happy with that. Um, okay, next image. Now we've got some outside lights coming in and we have some orange lights above. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom straight into a nice piece of white I like. 74. Bam, bam, bam. 75, that's it within one and that looks nice that looks beautiful okay so last image this is a mixture of lighting obviously there's a little bit of orange light and there's that natural light bouncing off these orange i think it might be a canopy of some sort and there's natural light coming in from the right what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna brighten the image up for the sake of the video straight away and i'm gonna zoom in on a piece of white and then cool that down 60 nine there basically that's correct so that's technically correct and what i typically would do is i'd put my preset on and brighten it up and think that looks lovely but for the sake of the video i feel like it's a bit too cool so i'm just gonna warm it up a little bit and i'm really happy with that i do actually have another video all about white balance you can check it out here